what's going on youtube it's your boy logistical styles coming at you with another video and today we are going to do something different it's a product review but it's also a product installation and it's a different kind of product than i normally review for this channel so let's get into it after the intro Welcome back YouTube. Like I said, we are doing something a little bit different today. This is a product review, but it's also got some product installation and uh, product usage as well. So this is the product that we're gonna be reviewing today. This is a smart recess slim LED panel light, and it's made by a company called Lumary, L-U-M-A-R-Y. They approached me because they saw some previous videos I did on some lighting and they asked me if I would be interested in checking out their lights right here and installing them and doing a review video. And naturally, yes, I was excited to do this. So here's what we did. I got this a couple weeks ago. I finally got around to installing them. Um, I was a little bit nervous because this is a light fixture that is going to require you actually cutting a hole in the ceiling um, whether you're putting in a light in a brand new position or you're replacing an existing fixture you're still gonna have to do some cutting or drilling in the ceiling uh, to make room for it this particular light is a six inch light it's 13 watts uh, the lumens is 1100 lumens it's got a 110 degree beam angle and it's rated for 25,000 hours of life so it can last a very long time it's a very bright light um, and it's power efficient only 13 watts for this particular six inch watt six inch light uh, some of the features of this light are it can be controlled by an app the app is very thorough and it has a lot of different options that you can set for a timing or or for scheduling or for brightness color temperature uh, color choice in general whether it's uh, blue green red RGB I believe they, they say it's something like 16 million different colors that you can actually come up with but there's an app and you can see that they use like kind of a color color wheel and you can you know use that to dial in the color or you can just go with the basic generic color well the general colors the basic colors um, but you can dial in lots of different shades of many different colors and a really cool part about it I'm not sure if you can see it on the box but this is a very thin like they say it's a slim uh, light fixture but it's it's more than that it's very thin it's like about that thick most of these recessed lighting that you may see um, when you're shopping for recessed lighting it has a can that goes in top of the uh, on the ceiling it goes into the ceiling it's like a can that holds like the power connections and uh, the bulbs and all that well with these lights you don't need that because it's a thin it's a panel of LEDs it's a panel of LED in the light and LED is very small it's very uh, power efficient and it doesn't require all that space so what you have is oh, let's just go up and open this up uh, this is not unboxing in the sense that I've already installed two of the fixtures that came with this i've unboxed it already but i'll show you what's in the uh second package which is identical to the first package pull it out there's two this is two fixtures right here that's how thin this is pull it out of the plastic and you get this this is the fixture itself it's how thick it is how wide it is you have this little pigtail that comes off the end and that connects to a power uh, supply. They call it something different. Uh, I think they call it the LED driver. That's what they call it. Yeah, the LED driver is what it's called. Uh, let's see if I can get a good picture that's not LED driver. So that's what it's called. And it's got the matching pigtail that you would connect to the fixture. They go in, connect, you do like a little twist, and it locks into place. So this is your power supply, and this is the actual light fixture, LED soft panel. So it's a nice panel uh, light. It gives you a very nicely, evenly distributed and diffused light. This power supply right here, it opens up 
and on the inside you have three wires. You have your ground, which is the green, you have your positive, which is the white, and you have your negative, which is the black. Those three wires, when connected properly, will supply power to this dongle, which will supply power to the light fixture. The box has two breakout knockouts parts that you can use to fit your, your cabling into so you can make your connections, secure them with some uh, wire caps, close it, pop this up into the ceiling with enough slack so this comes out through the hole of the ceiling that you put in. You're going to put in a six inch hole. Actually, it's a little bit bigger, but they do give you this right here. This little cutout. It's a hole cutout template. It allows you to trace a hole or trace the line in the ceiling of where you're going to drill a hole. Now, there's a couple ways you can get that hole created. Um, you can use a hole saw, which is just a bit that you would put on to your drill that has a round uh, blade that will cut the hole for you. There is also a contraption that I bought at Home Depot. I thought I was going to need it, but because of the way I was actually installing it, I didn't need it. But it was a very similar thing. It was a piece that you put on to your drill. You chuck it on, and then it's got these two blades that can be adjusted in and out according to the width of the hole that you're trying to cut. And it'll poke through with the pilot bit and then cut through with the ceiling. But I couldn't do that because I was I replaced an existing light fixture. So my job or my task was a little bit different. The light fixture that I re replaced had like a bulb that hung down from the ceiling. And what I'm going to try to do is let's see if I can pull up. Well, first, let's do this. Let's go to the Lumerie website, and then you can see um, what I'm talking about. So let me just switch uh, cameras real quick, and we'll go here. All right, so here I am, and we're on the, the website for Lumery. And on the products, oh, one thing to note, they have a Black Friday sale going on right now. So this is a perfect time to actually make these purchases if you want to purchase it. I'll put a link in the description below, and you can go to the website, or you can also buy them on Amazon. But they have a Black Friday sale up to 40% off on products. So uh, if you are interested, if you like what I show you, this would be a good time to invest a little bit. And they're not very expensive at all. So let's go over to products, smart lighting. And this right here is what I've installed. You know, what I didn't do is I did not install them in my living room right away. Um, I, I installed them in my hallway. Uh, it's right outside my living room, but I did that because those are the fixtures that I really wanted to get rid of. Uh, recently, maybe in the past few months, I, I did some upgrading of my lighting inside the house and put in some ceiling fans. So I didn't really want to change that in those rooms. But what I do want to do now that I see how well these lights work, I'm going to get some more. And I'm going to put them in my living room so I can get this same effect that they have right here. Because this is really good it looks really good and the lights do work just like they show you on the website so i ended up getting this the lumery wi-fi smart canless recess lighting six inch four pieces and as you can see in this picture it does work with alexa it also works with google does not work with siri so you have to um find a way to work around that and that was a big hurdle for me in my house because we are very deep into the apple uh, ecosystem we use a lot of home kit products uh, specifically i'm a big philips hue light user so this was uh an experience and it was an experiment for me because i wasn't sure if i was gonna like uh, the way it worked or if I would be missing out on some of the controls that I'm used to with Philips Hue. Uh, I will say right now, no, I did not lose very much of anything, if anything at all. I just went ahead and used Alexa to create some routines and I was able to use my existing um, Philips Hue motion sensors to trigger these lights 
I was also able to use motion sensors from WISE, my uh, home security and home camera system. I was able to use those as well to control these lights. Um, it was a learning experience for, experience for me because, like I said, I'm very deeply entrenched into the e Apple ecosystem, the home kit, and I had to figure out a way to make this work, and this works really well. The lights that I am replacing were previously Philips Hue lights, with, and they worked well with the and they worked with the Philips Hue motion sensor. These lights work well with the Philips Hue motion sensor as well. There is a little bit of difference in the timing, but we're talking about like half a second uh, versus, you know, instantaneous. But I'm willing to live with that uh, for such great lights. These lights, um, I'll show you a picture of it, how it looks in my uh, hallway where I set them up. But for now, I just want to go to the website and you can see... Um, what I'm talking about. You can buy them in larger larger quantities. You can get them in 12-piece. Uh, they have 8-piece. You can get them in 2-piece. You can get them, I think you can buy them single as well. You can get 4-inch uh, lights as well, which are a little bit smaller. So if you have a, a room or an area that doesn't need a big 6-inch uh, light, you can get something a little bit smaller. Um, like I said, they have a Black Friday sale going on. You go to the website, you'll see the countdown up the top. Uh, right now, I'm filming this on a Monday. You have five days, six hours, nine minutes, and 28 seconds left to get these great Black Friday deals. Hopefully, I will have this video up tonight as soon as I get done editing. But this is the, um, the website, and it, they have a lot of uh, support information they have video guides for you to see how to use them so you can see how to install them you can see how um, to use the app they give you the option to um, or they have a fact so they have they they they're very proactive about um, trying to help you be successful in getting these installed I started out uh, installing one and then I almost gave up in the beginning because this was my first time installing a light fixture in the ceiling of my house. But um, once I took some time to look at what was going on and, you know, understand the wiring, then I went a little bit further and completed it. The first light took me an hour to put to get installed. And that was because of trying to figure out how to remove the old fixture and the lighting, the wiring in there, and how to get it wired back up correctly. I ended up having to do a lot of video and picture taking and, and wire labeling. I do want to stress that if this is something you're not comfortable with, if it's something that you don't know what you're doing with, um, you don't know what you're doing, especially when it comes to electricity, Hire a professional. Get you an electrician or someone who can install it. This is not really very difficult for an electrician to do. I have a background with uh, low voltage electricity, and I grew up with a father that is an, was an electrician. So um, I, I, I was in somewhat familiar territory. The, the hardest part for me was actually cutting through the sheetrock and trying to get that uh, hole just right because... When you take out an existing light fixture, you might notice that you probably are dealing with a four inch hole or something in that range. So because that hole is already there, I wasn't able to use the uh, drill bit that could poke through and cut the hole. So I had to use a handsaw. I use a small handsaw to cut around and get that perfect six inch hole. And I tested several times to make sure it would fit in perfectly. Now. Once you have the hole cut and it's a good tight hole, whatever, you can't just put it up in there and let it sit, even though it might be tight enough to hold it up in there. What they do is they include, they give you, let's see, let's go back to the main camera. They give you these little spring clips. And these spring clips, this is something I want to bring up or show you now because this was really confusing to me as to like how do these things work spring clip looks like this you got this little curly part right here and then a coil and then these plastic pieces well I will say this the instructions are pretty decent but some of the printing on it is really really small so I had to kind of like mag take a picture on my phone and then 
zoom in to see how this was supposed to go and it wasn't even even then it wasn't even all that easy for me to figure it out but the the plant the idea is this little curly piece right here that looks different than the rest of the coil it's supposed to lean against the body of the uh light fixture itself and you see how there's this little barrel that for the coil these little pieces right here on the fixture are supposed to go inside it took me a while to figure that out and that's one of the main that's one of the big things i want to point out in this video so the idea is to have it so that this little clip is spring loaded so once you put it up in the ceiling you put it up like this you push it up then you let go and this is going to hold it into place like that and you do the same thing for the other side so let's just go ahead and pull this out here and like I said let's do it again this little curly piece right here on the end it needs to fit flush it needs to fit flat against the body so what I'm doing is let me pull it up a little higher let's turn it around so I'm gonna take this you see you have this see those little pieces right there you have to take the flat part lay it down and then squeeze the coil the spring coil the first one was very easy this one's a little bit harder bam so now these are spring loaded like that so when you put them up in the ceiling after you connect your pigtail to the power supply up here put that up in the ceiling put these up pop it up in the hole and they will hold the light in place just like that my fingers would be representing the ceiling the sheetrock in the ceiling but that's how they hold in the place and if you need to take them out you may have to use a little bit of pressure, but it will come out like that the same way. So that's something really important to uh, remember. So that would be the second thing. The first thing is if you are replacing a light that already is existing, you will need to use a hand saw to, screw, to saw out the sheetrock uh, to make that hole six inches actually it's a little bit bigger than six inches i think it was like six and three eighths or something like that um, but use use the cutout use the template and that will make things so much easier for you like i said with this power supply you have to get you're gonna have to knock out at least one of these knockouts so your cable can go in there your power cable and then you can I use wire nuts. I believe they give you they give you these pieces right here. I didn't really I wasn't really comfortable with them really. I mean I, I see how they work. You have three ports. It's a little gray and orange thing. You have three ports where you can plug or uh, put your wires in and they go in there and it kind of clips down. I end up using wire nuts. Wire nuts is what I prefer using in the vid installation videos that I watched. That's what they used. So um, what I'm going to do now, let me see if I can pull up because I did. I got my iPad with, uh, okay, this is something else on the website I want to show you real quick. This right here. Uh, easy to install. Easy way to install, and it would be this. When I was talking about what a traditional can light looks like you've got this big can that would stick up in the ceiling and the lights uh go inside that these slim lines let me come back out a little bit so the lights that we're using are smart lighting smart canless recess lighting let's click on that Let's see if they have a 
demonstration. No, they don't have a picture of it on for this one. But that's the beauty of these lights. These don't have a can. There's no can on these lights. They go um, right flush with the sheetrock, and it looks really, really good. So now let me go back to my iPad. Let's get some pictures up because I did store some pictures. I want you to see, and I also want you to... I did a time-lapse video of me trying to install these, and you, you can see in the time-lapse video kind of... Uh, some of the things I went through as I tried to get this installed. So let's go ahead and pull this up right here. And it's this video right here. Well, let's go back to the pictures. Let's go pull up my pictures. Let's see. Um, let's go. All right, so this is me right here. I am trying to figure out what's going on in the wiring up here because I expected there to be one wire in that hole and that one wire would have like three small wires inside it. I thought it'd be like um, your ground negative and your positive. When I went in there, it was a little bit more than that. It was, uh, let's see. There were several because these this outlet or this uh, juncture box was piggybacked and they it was like in a circuit and they all piggybacked with each other. So there were several wires coming in, several wires coming out. So I had to figure out that what I ended up doing was um, just labeling everything. And then um, once I had everything labeled, I knew exactly how to put it all back together again. So let's see what else we got here. I want you to see... Uh, let's try to look at this installation right here. Uh, let's get this installation right here. It's another time lapse of me um, trying to do this. I cut the power off to the whole house when I did this. A lot of people say you can just cut the breaker off for the circuit that you're working on. I chose to cut the power for the whole house because I didn't want to have any electrical issues at all. But as you can see, this is me at this point. I was cutting out that hole using a handsaw and testing and making sure that I could get that box in there wired up correctly. And then eventually, once I got all my wiring, I taped it up and popped the um, fixture in there. Now, you can see I had several wires. I had, uh, I had to figure it out. I had to tape them and just, just really pay attention to what I was doing, label everything. And that made a big difference in me getting this uh, installed. Once I did get it installed, this is what the finished product look project looked like. Um, this was really impressive to me. This made this whole. It actually made the. Uh, it made the hallway feel like the ceiling was higher, because and I was trying to figure it out, and I realized what it was. It's because the globe light that was there previously, uh, it was like maybe maybe four or five inches uh, in height. So from the ceiling to that about four or five inches is what the bulb took up. So I always looked up at the bulb as the, the height of the ceiling. But once we got rid of that and made the lighting flush with the ceiling, it looked like the ceiling was just higher. And it also... Um, the lighting is just bright enough to let me see more of the paint job in my house. Uh, let's see what else we have here. This is another angle of it. Um, I think this is actually a video, yeah. So you can actually see a little bit better of what it looked like. Uh, let's see. This is the hallway itself. It was hard for me to get a good, good picture of the light because of, well, one, I got it real dusty in there, so my camera got a little dusty and then the light is just really bright so there was a little bit of a um, glare so this is it again let's switch over this is me when I turned the lights blue the hallway blue 
so nice very nice effect um and we did a lot of different colors as well we played around with them so i really like the way these make the room look i'm able to put a schedule on it so i know when i have blue lights and when i have uh other colored lights so I, i'm really happy with the way this turned out uh i'd like to see if maybe i can show you what it looked like when I do the voice control, but I may have to go upstairs and show you that. But once the lights were installed and hooked up, then you have to go in and hook up the app, connect the lights to the app. So when you have the lights powered on and for the first time, they're going to blink. After you turn it on, like it'll wait like maybe three or four seconds and then the lights will start blinking that means they're in pairing mode and that's when you have to go into the app and follow the instructions in order to connect to wi-fi and let's see let's see what happens let's go here so this is the app and this is me trying to get what well, that's the wrong app okay let's go back that's the app for my robot Robot, we don't need the robot. All right, let's go into the Lumery app. So if we, once we get the lights installed and you turn the lights on the first time, they're going to blink. After like four seconds, the lights will come on and they'll be like, oh, okay, the lights work, good. But then they'll start blinking. And when they start blinking, that means they're in pairing mode. And that means you have to go to the app. And that's when you have to connect the lights within the app. And then you'll be able to control it all. So let's go into the app right here. All right. So this is the app. This is the Lumery app. And you go to the store first to get it. Um, once you open it up, you have to sign up or log in. If it's your first time, you'll have to go ahead and sign up. You'll have to register. Um put your country email address agree to the pro the privacy terms and all that stuff you get a verification code that's going to be sent to you it's going to be sent to your email address so you have to check your email it shows up you get an email address from Lumerae with the code you memorize your code really quickly or write it down enter your verification code then you create your password They'll ask to find devices on your network, which would be other Lumery um, devices. Then they'll ask you to add a device. Once you add the device, uh, you'll be asked about notifications. I turn those on. You'll, ask, you'll be asked about Bluetooth. I turn that on as well. And that allows you to be able to control the lights from the app. Once you are ready, you can add a new device. It'll ask you what type of device you're adding. Um, and it will kind of find it because it's still in pairing. So once you add it, um, once you, it discovers it, then you can add it. Then you can turn on your location uh, services. It's very important for you to connect to Wi-Fi so your devices can um, communicate. And then once it's added, it takes a little while, takes a few seconds or maybe a minute or so for it to completely add the light to the system. And from there, you're pretty much good to go once the light gets added. You hit the done button and you can go into the app and start controlling your lights. Once you're in there, you get the option to control the color temperature. You can be on the this first screen right here. This shows the white light and the different color temperatures and the dimming possibilities. You can set all from there. And then if you swipe it in the other direction, swipe it, I think, to the right, it'll change and allow you to uh, set the colors if you want. You can also set different scenes. Like in this part right here, you see there's a night scene, there's custom scenes, there's uh, all different scenes. There's bedtime scenes. You can uh, create a lot of different custom scenes. I have been playing around with those, but I haven't really settled upon any one scene yet. Um, you can also go in, let's see, you can control the dimmer, you control the schedule, the timer, uh, your biorhythm, which is like when you're uh, getting ready for bed, you want the lights to slowly dim, and by the time you're in bed, it's dark, or in the same thing when you wake up. Um, you can add, you can change the way the light reacts when you turn power off and turn power back on. Do you want it to remember 
what the last state was or you wanted to go back to a default state um, or you wanted to do nothing, just uh, don't respond. So you can set all that up within the app. There's a lot of customizations that you can do with the, uh, the app. You can uh, use the app to power the light off. You can use the app to dim the light. You can use the app to set the light temperature. You can also use the app to set it to music. With music, you're able to uh, control the lights or the lights will move and change color to the beat of the music that the microphone on your camera hears. You can rename the light so you know what exactly the light is, what room it is, and you don't have to use generic um, labels. So in this case, I've labeled it my foyer light. Then I'm also going to add a hallway light. Um, and I have two more places I have to figure out where I want to put the lights in. I think I'm going to put one in my daughter's room and possibly one in our laundry room. These rooms are not necessarily close to each other, but they have the same situation where I can um, just replace an existing light fixture. And uh, I think it's going to work out really well. So I'm excited with these lights. I think these are are really uh, a good value. They're actually pretty popular now because now that I was looking out for um, some tools to install, or some supplies to install them. I went to Home Depot and looked in the lighting aisle, and I saw that there's other brands out there, but these were the um, the best value when I considered how much, how many lights I got for the price that um, they were charging for them. Even though these were provided by the manufacturer, but when I do buy some more lights like this, I'm going to get the same brand because they ha- seem to be the best value. Um, They were easy to install once I figured out the wiring process of it. But I will once again stress, if you are not comfortable with uh, dealing with electricity in your house, you should definitely consult a professional. They probably won't charge you very much because this is really a basic, uh, um, a very basic routine function of of an electrician to be able to change something like a light switch or outlet or a light fixture. What's really nice about this light fixture is the bezel. This bezel right here blocks out uh, outside light or light from coming out. Like when I first put these in, I didn't install it correctly and I thought that there was a problem because I was seeing light seeping out around the edges. And I thought, well, maybe I cut the hole wrong. But then I checked and compared it to the template, and no, I didn't cut the hole wrong. But I didn't have these uh, clipped in properly. But when these are clipped in properly, these this whole light fixture is really flush to the ceiling, and no light escapes out. It looks really, really clean. It's a very clean look. So what I want to do is uh, go upstairs and get a little bit more footage of the lights, because I think uh, really... Um, The pictures I took previously don't really do it justice, but these lights uh, really made my hallway look a lot better. And for the two lights, I I got them both installed in under two hours. The first light took an hour. The second light, because I knew what I was getting into, was a lot easier. So it took me about maybe 45 minutes. So about an hour and 45 minutes to do two lights. They were easy because they were in close proximity to the light switch. And they were also really close to my attic access. So I was able to pop up and take a look from above at, um, in case there was a problem. And there really wasn't a problem. The hardest part for me in this process was removing the old uh, juncture box and getting rid of the, the old light fixture. Once I got that done and was able to cut the hole for the uh, fixture itself, everything got a lot smoother. So what I want to do is uh, just show you real quickly how it works with music and how the lights can be controlled with music. And then we'll wrap it up and I'll give you another quick close-up view of the lights so you can see exactly why I like them so much. So don't forget, I will be putting links to where you can buy them in the description below. If you have uh, some questions or some comments or you've actually installed lights like this, I'd like to hear your feedback because I'm really excited about this. Um, Like I said, this is not my typical video with DJ equipment and music producing equipment, but it kind of fit because, you know, I did some lighting videos before and when I show you how well they work with 
music, I think you'll be interested in it because it would really make your party room or your um, your recreation room and your home. It would make it a it would make it a really nice uh, vibe because you can set the lights to a certain intensity, a certain dimness, or you can just go into party mode and turn the the music on and let the lights just become make the room a, a, a club almost. So um, let's take a look at some of this uh, other footage and then we'll wrap this review up. Alexa, turn the hallway light orange. Alexa, turn the hallway light yellow. Alexa, turn the hallway light blue. Alexa, dim the hallway light. Alexa, set the hallway light to 100%. Okay, so now you should be able to see that, that this light right up here is set to white. The one back here is set to red. I need to make a group for them, but for right now, I'm just going to work with the foyer light. And let's move it over to the music setting in the app. And there's a microphone that shows up on the screen. And if I hit the start button... I can start talking like this into my phone and you can see that the light changes according to as I'm talking. If I stop talking, the light stops moving, but if I keep talking, then the light keeps moving. But if I stop talking, the light stops moving. But if I keep talking and I'm talking real fast, and then, then the light changes color. So that's really cool. So like if I were to do something where, one second. So if I were to have put these in my living room, which was my original plan, I wanted to put them in all four corners, then I could set them up as a group and I could have the lights go, it could become like a little club.